Good morning, and welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. My name is Jean Dunn, and I will be the cantor at this morning's Mass. Our celebrant is our pastor, Father Bob Gorski. The intentions for today's Mass are Ralph and Philomena Renfer and Priscilla Lavoy. Thank you to everyone who participated in the Box of Joy this year. Your support provides Christmas gifts and a reminder of God's love to children in developing countries. Each year, our parish has sponsored a very special outreach program, the Blue Angels, to make Christmas happen for Londonderry families for whom Christmas might otherwise not be as joyous. Directions to sign up are online and available in the bulletin, as well as on the parish website and the Facebook page. Thank you for your continued support of this very important outreach program and for your generosity. In order to preserve the sacredness of the Holy Mass, kindly silence your cell phones and any other electronic devices. Our Mass setting this month is the Mass of Remembrance. Please stand and take a moment to greet those around you as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Our presentation hymn is number 580 in the Day of the Lord, number 580. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Before we celebrate these sacred mysteries, let's take a few moments and call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to forgive sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to heal the sick. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to proclaim the reign of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, 
the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve you with constancy, the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Lo, the day is coming, blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all evildoers will be stubble. And the day that is coming will set them on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, there will arise the sun of justice with its healing rays. The word of the Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know how one must imitate us. For we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day, we worked so as not to burden any of you. 
not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. We hear that some are conducting themselves among you in a disorderly way by not keeping busy and minding business of others. Such people we instruct and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to work quietly and to eat their own food. The word of the Lord. My friends in Christ, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some people were talking about the beautiful stones used to build the temple and about the gifts that have been placed in it. Jesus said, Do you see these stones? The time is coming when not one of them will be left in place. They will all be knocked down. Some people ask, Teacher, when will all this happen? How can we know when these things are about to take place? Jesus replied, Do not be fooled by all those men who come and claim to be me. They will say, I am the Christ. Now is the time, but don't follow them. When you hear about wars and riots, do not be afraid. These things will have to happen first, but that is not the end. Nations will go to war against one another, and kingdoms will attack each other. There will be great earthquakes, and in many places, People will starve to death and suffer terrible diseases. All sorts of frightening things will be seen in the sky. Before all this happens, you will be arrested and punished. You will be tried in the Jewish meeting places and be put in jail. Because of me, you will be placed on trial before kings and governors. But this will be your chance to talk about your faith. Do not worry about what you will say to defend yourselves. I will give you the wisdom to know what to say. None of your enemies will be able to oppose you or to say that you are wrong. You will be betrayed by your own parents, brothers, family, and friends. Some of you will even be killed. Because of me, you will be hated by everyone. But don't worry. You'll be saved by being faithful to me. 
the gospel of the Lord. I want you to take a look at this. Does that look familiar? Can you see that? Can all of you in the back see this? Can you see what this is? Okay, boys and girls, for many, many years, this was the symbol for the state of New Hampshire. And this rock formation is called what? The old man of the mountain, right? What happened to the old man of the mountain 19 years ago? long before you were even a twinkle in your mom and dad's eyes. What happened to the old man? He came tumbling down the mountain. I guess he got tired of standing up there. So, this rock formation, this face, no longer exists. It is nothing but a bunch of stones at the bottom of Cannon Mountain. Now, I had friends of mine who had never seen the old man of the mountain, and I kept encouraging them to come and see the old man for years. Finally, they decided that they were going to come up and see the old man. I called back and said, forget it. <laughs> Don't waste your time. He fell off the mountain. You waited too long. And they were sad to hear that. And they said, well, we just kept trying to get there, but we just never made it. I said, nope, you never made it. And now he's gone. In today's gospel, Jesus talks about the temple. You remember that? The temple is a big, and I do mean big, huge church. Very big, massive, massive building with huge stones. I mean, it was absolutely incredible how big and how beautiful this temple was. And what does Jesus say in today's gospel? He says to them, not one stone will be left in place. Each and every stone is going to come crumbling down to the earth. In other words, the temple will be destroyed. Roughly 40 years after Jesus made that prediction, it came true. In the year 70 AD, the Romans came in and destroyed the temple in most of the city of Jerusalem with it. The point in the story that Jesus tells us in the Gospel of Luke, boys and girls, is that nothing lasts forever. Everything comes to an end. Everything. And so we have to make the best of each and every day. Because each and every day that you and I are given is a gift from God. Each and every day that we are alive is a gift from God. The only thing that we are granted is the gift of today. There is no promise that there's going to be tomorrow. Only today. Do we hope there's going to be tomorrow? Yeah, we do but there's no guarantee that there is going to be a tomorrow. 
So Jesus says very clearly, make the best of every day. Don't put off till tomorrow what you can do today. So are there are some things that you've always wanted to do. My advice to you is do them. Do them while you can. Because like my friends who kept putting off coming to New Hampshire to see the old man, they waited too late, too long. The old man is gone. So there may be some things that you really want to do. Well, find the time to do it. Maybe you're a little afraid to do some things. Maybe you're afraid to take swimming lessons. But it's a good thing to learn how to swim, right? So take swimming lessons. Find out how to swim. Or there may be other things that you want to do. Find time to do those things. Because every single day that God gives us is a gift. It's an opportunity to do those things that we haven't done yet. Now, your parents are not going to like this statement. <laughs> if there are some places that you really want to go, bug your parents to take you there. <laughs> because they might enjoy it too. Because this life of ours, as the gospel tells us, is too short. And there are things that we really want to do, do it. The old man of the mountain didn't stay up there forever. And like everything else in this world, it will not be here forever. Things are here and then they're gone. So use the opportunity, the gift that God has given you, and do what you want to do. Do what you have to do, and do it today, or very soon, because each and every day is a gift. We take that opportunity to use God's gift, give him thanks and praise for the life that he's given us, for as long as it may be. It may be very short, it may be very long, but whatever length of time it is, it's a gift from God. We must always give thanks for that great and wonderful gift. Let's together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate with the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in God's mercy, we offer our prayers for our church and for our world today. All who are persecuted or imprisoned for their faith, that they rejoice to share in Christ's suffering, we pray to the Lord. For the peoples of every land, that they be free to worship God in peace, we pray to the Lord. For families divided by religion, that Christ restore them to loving unity, we pray to the Lord. For our community, 
that we persevere in times of trial, we pray to the Lord. Lord that prayer, hard work, and generous service will prepare many young men and women to answer the Lord's call to follow him as priests, deacons, and in the consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. For all petitions brought to our shrine, seeking the intercession of St. Jude, we pray to the Lord. For all of the sick, especially those whose names are listed in our parish bulletin, that God will heal them and restore them to good health, we pray to the Lord. For what else shall we pray? For these intentions, and for Ralph and Philomena Renfer and Priscilla Lavoy, we pray to the Lord. God of all creation, you have power of life and death. Grant what we ask through Christ our Lord. Our presentation song is number 578, Keep Your Lamps Trimmed in Burning, number 578. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song is number 515, Litany for the Earth, number 515.
I believe uh, Trish has a special announcement. Just two quick items. Uh, thank you for uh, those who, of you who participated in the boxes of joy. We have 150 from this, this parish alone, but we have 25 cases of them in Father Bob's office. Um, <laughs> they'll be picked up on Thursday for distribution to Haiti, Central, and South America. Thank you very much. Also, we have a newly formed youth group this year. Kids, would you stand up in the youth group? They are kids from fourth grade uh, through 10th grade. They meet twice a month during religious ed. Uh, they do different services. They collected items for Veterans Day for Liberty House in Manchester. They put together a nice uh, board thanking the veterans. Today, they will be at the entrances of the church distributing random cards of kindness to you all. If you kids want to take your places now, that would be great. They're a wonderful new group. There's 20 youth who come voluntarily twice a month at 9 in the morning to do fun things. Thank you, young people. Let us pray. We are partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, employing, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Uh, once again, uh, this year, we're doing our Blue Angels to help provide uh, gifts for those families in need. Now, you probably noticed that there are no Blue Angels on the wall behind me. Uh, that's because we're doing everything online. So if you'd like to make a donation uh, to support uh, families in need through the Blue Angels, you can uh, find the link on our parish website. Uh, you can go in the bulletin and get instructions on how to do that. Or just Google Blue Angels St. Jude Parish, Londonderry, New Hampshire, and it'll pop up underneath Blue Angels U.S. Navy. <laughs> Don't get the two confused. <laughs> so we're underneath the Blue Angels for the Navy, and you can find that link and then register for uh, getting gifts for families in need. We hope you will support this worthy cause. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God, bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our song is sending forth is number 581, Soon and Very Soon, number 581.